Today, we're going on a walk. Or for a walk, one or the other. These two rascals decided to go. We're going to stop, take a look at pond number two, first of all. Which I don't think the goats have been back here, here to four. Things are a little grown up. Still pretty though. Look at that. Now, we will go across this pasture. And I'm going to go ahead and walk all the way up to the third pond. So, right now, let you know we're going to go in that direction to go to the third pond. See you in a minute. In this back pasture, I want to show you this huge tree. Not sure what kind it is, but notice how all of the branches come all the way to the ground. What we can do is we can actually go up under this tree into kind of like a cave. Right over there is where Kyle has the feeder. I guess Beckham's going to check out that. But coming right up under this tree, it looks like this. really quiet and cool right here. And coming around, if you don't go under the tree, and you just skirt the back of this pasture, come to where Kyle is set up. Our little range there. the goat. I'll stop this and start again at the pond or when we're getting close. So I crossed up under the fence, the barbed wire fence, and came up the slope. And now we're coming around to pond number three from the east side. I guess Beckham's going to go ahead and have a little dip since we're here. It's way down. Wow. Last time I was up here, it was up on this rock right here, so it's several feet down. Now we kind of got into the wood section. We decided to come straight up. We being my sidekicks. We back them. We decided to come straight up the hill from the pond. And there's some cleared out areas on the way up. You can kind of see some down there. Some over here. 
probably tell I'm breathing a little harder. Because we're about to go straight up to the top of this ridge. Gotta give it to the goats. Billy Jean and Bert, they're staying right here. Still got quite a ways to go though. I think I'll cut it off here and look, let you see when we get up All there. All right, just broke out of the tree line. Here it is behind me. And what do we see? We see a fence. And we're about mid property line as far as uh, east to west probably about midway there well actually no we're closer because here is the property line all the way on the west and you see that it's marked but now we should be able to see the view well, I don't know Maybe not, because there's quite a few trees there. Can't really see any of you right now since the trees are all blooming. Maybe we will on the way down. Starting the hike down this path along the fence. Just stopping on the way down to get him a little snack. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Oh, the old tree. We're about to head down. You see the way in front of us here. ahead. I'm not sure we're going the right way, I guess. And Rebecca will take his own way to check something out and then come back and find me. They will only stop briefly to get a little snack and then run to catch back up. Here we go. They don't choose to go through the water, though, like Beckham does. That bother him a bit, though. Well, almost back to the barn, and then over there where those trees are, pond number one. On 
on the other side of those trees. Another pasture that's sort of grown up. Mr. Armstrong's pasture. This was where we started our orchard a couple of weeks ago. Back here, I'm not going to go close up because the goats will think it's a good idea to check out the fig tree and the blackberry bush, which is planted back there in the corner. And back to the house. I wanted to take you up to the first pond. There's the pathway up to the bank. And this is where the street is. This is where the house and our lovely poplar tree is. <laughs> the goats are over there getting in the kids. Big hole that they dug. Maybe I should take you and show you that right quick and then come back up. I just carried this chair right here up and sat at the edge of the pond. <laughs> Little bit, you're gonna have to let him up. Little bit, let him up. Little bit. No, Little bit, stop. But look at this hole that the boys dug. Pretty big. All right, well, let's go back. This is where the fire pit was. This is one of my favorite places here. I pretty much come up here every day. Not every day, but pretty close to every day. As you come up this side of the bank and you see there's a nice little path right here along the bank you see the beginnings of the pond this is kind of a overflow area and there's this little knoll looks out over the pond and this pond has an island. There's water completely surrounding the island. That's the pasture. And those trees right there are the beginnings of where the creek flows to go to the second pond. This is not gorgeous. Still have my sidekicks. Walk you around. Got a new one now. Let me show you where the overflow comes. That's the road right here. We're real close to the road now. Kind of overflows right here when it's really, really coming through. I kind of built that up. Then the other overflow is right here. A little bit of water now, whereas normally it's quite a bit. This is the other side of the culvert there. So pretty. Another little path coming up to the bank is right here. If you 
you want, you can go down that angle right there to the street, or you can come back through here.